And we were on. Good to see you guys. Happy Friday. You know what time it is? Story time. Get ready. Relax. Caffeinated. So here we go. Conversations about your timeless personal growth and development. So today, what we're going to be talking about is maintaining male friendships while aging. So when we're young, when we're kids, who are the most important people in our lives? It's our parents, mom and dad. We rely on them, right? For ev everything. When we come adolescence, we we yearn to separate from mom and dad, be more independent, to be more autonomous, want our own lives. In our 20s, who become the most important people in our lives? It's our friends. Who do we spend the most time with? Our friends. Especially as a man, most important people are our male friends. We need those male friends. What happens when the 30s hit? The 30s come along. Let's say, I have a girlfriend, we have a wife, you know, kids come along, then what? Typically what happens, those male friendships, kind of, unfortunately, the sad truth is they kind of fall down by the wayside a little bit and don't become as much as a priority in your life as they once were in your 20s. Well, what, what's the importance of maintaining that? Why? Well, maybe your wife and girlfriend, may, maybe you've only been with them for three, four years, and you've been getting a family with them, and your kids and your wife, they become the most important people in your life. Of course, that's normal. That's human evolution. That's life development. Of course, that's normal, right? But you've had friends you've known since you're in like grade four. It's like 20, 25 years. Like, you can't just let them fall by the wayside, right? Because your male friends have seen you in situations, maybe your wife and your girlfriend and your kids have never seen you. They've been you through, through the hard, really, really hard times, the really, really good times, the really, really dark times, really hard times. You fought in the trenches together. You know, you've been through everything together since you guys were all in, since we were little kids, going up through adolescence to your 20s and your 30s. It's very, very, very important to maintain that while aging. And it's crucial for a man's mental health as they go through into their 30s and their 40s and 50s and 60s all throughout their family life to maintain those long lasting male relationships. For one thing, maybe this is the case for some of you, I've seen it before, maybe there are things that you don't want to talk about or don't feel comfortable talking about with your wife or your girlfriend or your kids or your parents, that you have things that you want to talk about but you feel your male friends are a little more suited for those conversations. And they're a little more suited to help you in those conversations. One thing to maintain male friendships, right? It's also, like I said, it's important for a man's mental health as they age, as they grow older. Because when things become easy through marriage through kids and we get we get in a lot of men i find get into this state of just like comfort and i've done a video on how comfort becomes your enemy when you're too comfortable in your life how it could be actually very damaging to you when you get too, too comfortable and for me i find male friendships are there to make you a little uncomfortable to remind you that This, this state of comfort that you found yourself in, this state of like, oh, this comfort zone, this space, safe space, this state of laziness, this state of zen that you found yourself in, 
where you can just relax, not worry about anything. It's, as a man, into the family life. You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just narrowing this down for men who are in the family life. Men have, men have every right to choose whatever kind of lifestyle they want. They want to go through the bachelor route or they want to go through the family route. That's fine. I'm just focusing on the family route. If men go, men go down the family route, yeah, they get into the state of comfort and relaxation and routine. And but guess what? That your your kids and your wife they and they need they need you to like step up and lead the family. They need you to not to be in that state of comfort all the time. They need you to be responsible and for to be accountable and to lead and to, you know, you need to break down, break down those, you need to grow and break down those boundaries for yourself, but you've got to do that for your children as well. And you've got to teach them. The only way to teach them is by doing it for yourself first. And that's where the male relationships come into play. A little story for you guys. Two months ago, I was up at the cottage with my friend and we're now both in our 30s. When we're in our 20s, we had the same routine. We would just go in his basement, play video games, eat pizza, drink beer, and just complain about the same things over and over again. You know, but this time, you know, we, we've, we've worked on ourselves. We've adopted more healthier lifestyle habits now, exercising, eating properly. So we decided to go for a run. We went for a 15-minute run to the church and back. That was just our warm-up. And then we went up to a run up the mountain. That's when it got hard. When we started to lose our breath and we couldn't breathe and we started to collapse or feel like we wanted to puke, I would pass my, I would pass my friend up the hill. He'd see me getting really far ahead. That would motivate him to what? To pass me. And he'd slow down, he'd start to collapse. I would, that would motivate me when I saw that he passed me, catch my breath and then pass him and back and forth, back and forth. We would not have been able to do that and push each other as hard if we were doing it alone. We got a better workout and push each other more because we're doing it together. And that's the value of maintaining those male friendships is they hold you responsible and they hold you accountable for certain things. Maybe your male friends will make you uncomfortable. Maybe they'll shed some light on the uncomfortable truth of the life that you're living at things maybe other people aren't showing you, kind of un unveiling what's behind the curtain, what's really going on. You know, maybe, maybe certain things in your life you're not seeing that your male friends can see, but they're there to hold you accountable and to shed light on that uncomfortable truth that maybe you're in denial of. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. That's why they call it an uncomfortable truth, but it's there for a reason for you to face that uncomfortable, uncomfortable truth and to take action on it and fix it and make your life better. And that's what male friendships are for. And no matter how busy you guys are, no matter how crazy your life gets, you got to make time for those male friendships all the time. And it could be anything. You can be going out and having a beer together. You can go playing pool. You can go fish. You can go work out. You can go boxing. You can do an MMA class together. Anything. Bring your kids along with you. But you got to make time for those male friends. No, because if you ha you know you if you're making excuses, oh, I'm busy. I got a lot of work to do. I got this and you know, uh, the kids, you no, know, the wife, and all, uh, all, all that and. If you're constantly getting invitations from your friends to go out and you're making reasons and excuses not to go out, eventually as time goes on, those invites are going to become less and less frequent. Why? Because you've conditioned your friends to the same response to those invitations. No, I'm busy. No, oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. No, I, I really want to come, yes, but... 
you know, I got things. I really want to work out. Yes, but you know, I work 40 hours a week. I don't have time. You know, just like, you know, I got to get up the kids early. Like, you know what? If you don't have time to work out because, you know, you got to get your kids to school, get up at 5 a.m. You know, there's 24 hours in a day. You sleep how much? You sleep six, right? How many hours does that give you? It gives you 18 hours to get what you need to get done. Whatever the responsibilities, I don't care who you are. No, no excuse not to spend time with your male friends. But 18 hours within a day, you got time to do it. Well, I'm tired. Well, work out. Exercise. Eat right. It'll make you less tired. Spend time with those male friends because before you know it, those male friends may not be around as much. Those male friends may not be around for you when you're ready for them again. Take advantage of them while they're there. Why? Because it's for your mental health. And you need that. You need a variety. Can't be sitting in the same routine all the time. You need the variety of people in your life. You need your parents, you need your friends, you need your colleagues, you need your girlfriend, you need your wife, you need your kids, you need your brother, you need your sister, you know, on and on. You need that you need that variety of social interaction with everybody. And that's gonna lead to a healthier life. And on that note guys, thank you so much for watching. If this message was valuable to you, please like and subscribe. I'll grow this channel. You know the deal. The next episode will be on July 20th. I will not be telling you what the topic is because you'll have to tune in to find out, but you can be assured that it will relate to your personal growth and development because that's what this channel is all about. And I will see you all in another life. And God damn it, go make time for your guy friends. Go do something. Have fun. And I'll see you soon. Bye.